Ooh, welcome. <laughs> welcome, Aquarian. Merry Christmas. Uh, alrighty, Aquarian. Merry Christmas to all of you Aquarians out there. Let's go in your reading. So, Aquarian, it is something else. Remember, um, to become a member, you can become a member and use the dollar ninety nine. Dollar ninety nine, you will get the extra of this reading. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Let's go in the reading. So, Aquarian, this month of December, um, is uh, really, really uh, moving forward overcoming um issues situation that was happening in Truman sparring um so for you guys is as if you're moving forward moving forward in a new direction um standing your ground overcoming things that was happening in Truman sparring rethinking um and creating positive alignment of energies moving forward so the month of december is going to be beginning with a positive um situation because it's about uh, the train moving forward and it's going to be helping a lot of you um uh, aquarians uh, to move forward and create uh, um uh, some sort of a better possibility in your world so this is going to be good in the first week we have fire in the second week we have hurt in the third week we have water and in the fourth week we have uh, um, fire but you're ending of the month on a very very positive note and this is going to be really really positive so you begin with the energy of the sun you end with the energy of the carousel now the energy of the sun is always about um uh affecting a whole lot of people so it's not affecting one person it's affecting a whole lot of people it's in it's a collaboration because these are major or corner so what we see is that a lot of you are going to be celebrating, overcoming a situation. A lot of you young people heard, had some sort of a heartbreak and this heartbreak is going to be healed. However, the way it is, as you come in the first week, I see the energy of the sun is coming back to replace whatever that was happening and transpiring in your world and how it was affecting you. And I see a whole lot of you young people are going to be moving forward. Then we see some sort of a um, overcoming, some sort of a situation at the work is coming up. Some of you were worried about the project. Um, there is no need to worry. This is going to be um, balancing and is going to be resolving itself. Okay. So what you were seeing is some sort of a, a situation that was transpiring. And I see some of your young people between the age of 18 and 45 or Kids, have, you know, this is a youth of pentacles, so it's about kids, uh, um, zero to 18 was a little bit bother. So some of you could be worried about your kids, zero to 18, but it's going to be okay as you move forward. There was some sort of information that some of you have trans, um, has received and, uh, um, before you move in the month of December, but it's going to be over, um, resolving itself. Okay. So it could be kids. Uh, that, uh, you know, um, in the new year, they have to um, uh, school in from out home. However, this is happening and transpiring. You, Aquarian, are definitely going to be getting over this problem, this situation, and moving forward, okay? So um, whatever heartbreaks it is at the end of November, you're going to be getting out of this in the first week, moving forward in the first week. I see some of you don't worry about your project. A lot of you are very worried about a project that is going on or some sort of a study situation at school, that sort of a thing. A lot of you are worried about some sort of an exam, that sort of a thing. Release yourself from the worries and just ask for help with this situation. As we look at the second week, it is balance, the earth energy of balance. And this is good because some of you young people, we're going to some sort of an issue, some sort of information could have come um, that have created some sort of a, a loss or some sort of a hurt over um, some sort of an issue, um, some information over some sort of an issue. You're trying to like balance out the situation by thinking about other ways to resolve the situation. So I see this is coming up. In the, in the second week that whatever the information you receive end of November coming into December, you're going to try to balance out this and is going to be realizing what was happening and what was transpiring. So I see temperance 
and your burdens is going to be over. So whatever is happening to you, Aquarians, in the second week, as you come to the end of the second week, going in the third week, your burdens is definitely going to be over. A lot of you, a lot of work in the second week, a lot of work, a lot of work, a lot of you are trying to um, finish off things before you get to the third week. So you Aquarians are going to be really focusing on your work in the second week because it's as if you're trying to resolve some sort of an issue and situation. So there was some sort of a regrets, heartbreaks maybe um, over some sort of a Something that um, for some of you is, is as if end of November you receive some sort of a news about, um, you know, if you're a freelancer or if you were temporary and this created some sort of a burden, but uh, you're going to be able to resolve this. So not to worry about it. It is going to be resolved itself as you move out of December in January. Then we are looking at the third week. The third week is a water week and it's a week of sh um, something is coming to light. You're going to be finding out something that you were not aware of. Now, a lot of you are going to be finding out something about work that you were not aware of. Something about some sort of a collaboration that you were not aware of that is going to be coming out. They're going to be showing shedding light on a fire sign person. People are going to be finding out what the Sagittarian have done. Okay, so some of you are dealing with a Sagittarian and they're going to be finding out what the Sagittarian have done. And it's going to be realizing that a Sagittarian woman has created a whole lot of issues for you. This woman is uh, 50 years and older, whoever this lady is and whatever is happening and transpiring. I see light is now shed on this lady that this lady have created a whole lot of issues for a whole lot of you guys. And uh, now they are showing up this person. So a lot of you, it could, it could uh, be a, a Leo and a Sagittarius, a Leo and a Sagittarius. Whatever is happening and transpiring, they're finding out the connection between a Leo and a Sagittarian and light has been shed on this situation. And people are realizing what this Leo and Sagittarius have done and have created um, and how they have affect your world and how they have uh, dishonestly um, was accessing some sort of information. It has to do with work, your business, your project. And I see that they're going to be finding out who these people are and whatever that has been transpiring. So a lot of you, you if your mom is a Sagittarian person, you could be having issues with this person. If your mom is a Leo person, um, you could be having issues with this person, but I see as, as if these people have created some sort of a burden for you. Light is going to be shedding about um, what uh, um, what a uh, Sagittarian woman have created or what a Aries Leo or Sagittarian woman have created. This woman is 50 years and older, 45 years and older, between 45 years um, older, and they're going to be finding out uh, um, how this woman has created a lot of problems uh, for your project uh, um, is as if uh, um, it can be at the workplace, but it can be a business. You could be a freelancer. You're going to be finding out that a Sagittarian woman is the one that have been creating a whole lot of problem around your business and around your project. And people are going to be finding out what this person has uh, been doing. So I see light is going to be shedding and people are going to be realizing who this person is and what this person has done. So we're looking at the last week. The last week has the energy of the carousel, the energy of the carousel. Um, it is the Wheel of Fortune. So this is really wonderful and positive. So what we're seeing in this last week is that uh, in as you come in the last week, um, some sort of a burdensome situation that you're carrying, I see you're going to be finding out ways and need in order to release this burdensome situation and to bring an end to this burdensome situation. They're going to be finding out there has been some sort of a dishonest play that has been happening and transpiring. And I see they are going to be definitely bringing a some sort of an end to the situation and this person because they realize the dishonesty of a Sagittarian woman of an Aries Leo or a Sagittarian woman. They have realized the dishonesty of this person and how this person have created a lot of issues around you, Aquarian. And now they're going to be um, um, standing up and resolving a situation because they have found out uh, 
And some of you have found out that a Sagittarian woman have been creating a whole lot of issues for some of you Aquarians. And I see you're going to be standing your ground against this person and taking back your power. So first week is going to be good. The first week and the last week is going to be good. So this is your um, best time, um, Aquarians. The first week and the fourth week is going to be absolutely fabulous. Whatever issues and situation you're dealing with, you're going to be very successful over this uh, issue and situation because they're going to be finding out uh, um, what has been happening and transpiring. A whole lot of you, if your mom is a Sagittarian person, I see you having problems as you go in the third week going in uh, um, the last week, you're going to be having some sort of a problem, some sort of an issues that is going on. So the energy of... Uh, um, for young people, I see a lot of you young people, um, it could be snowing and a lot of you young people are heartbroken. You wanted to go out and that sort of a thing, but it's going to be getting better. I see um, a lot of you are going to be changing jobs and um, a lot of you could be finding out at the end of November that your contract is not extended, but you're going to be changing job. I see you're going to be um, successfully moving forward. Um, I see you're going to be finding out a situation where a fire sign person and uh, Aries Leo or Sagittarius has been working against some of you for a very long time, whether it's your mom or whether it's a haunt or whether it's just someone at the workplace um, who tried to block your project. And I see truths is going to be coming out because they're going to be finding out that this lady is the person behind everything that is transpiring. Heartbreaks. Uh, um, uh, some of you could be receiving some sort of a news that was heartbro heartbroken end of November coming in December. And I see you're trying to balance out the situation and dealing with these issues and problem, whatever the news is. But I see as you come to the end of uh, um, the um end of the month of December that these situations is going to you're going to be leaving these situations behind um, in that period and you're going to be moving forward um, in the, the new year uh, in positive alignment of energy so the energies that you have is um, in December is uh, number 20 it's about uh, review and contemplation um, you have accomplished a great deal in your life and you have much to be proud of. Now it's time to decide what next, okay? As you contemplate the past and the present, you will clearly get a clear divine um, life purpose. Don't be distracted by conventional thinking. Be the real you, okay? So a lot of times we want to please other people and this is about not pleasing other people. It's about... You be who you are. Be real. Stay true to yourself. And you are going to be okay. So whatever the heart breaks is over a work, over a business, over a project, it's as if you're carrying burdens. It has to do with a um, Sagittarian woman that has created all of these burdens, situation and problems for you. And I see they're going to be finding out uh, that this fire sign person have uh, been creating these issues, have been accessing um, your information creating this issue and they're going to be, um, you know, putting a stop to this person, uh, um, to what this person have done and it's going to be handing a situation. I do love you guys. I'm wishing you a very Merry Christmas. Um, if you want to follow us to the, the um, other side, you will see the extended of this reading. I want to say thank you so much for being here. I am saying namaste until next time.